Let's talk about the resources that you offer students. And one of the things that interested me for the first year students, I believe, they have the option to take a test that assesses their leadership and learning styles and if they have the right personality for a specific type of specialty. So describe that test and, and how it works. One thing that we do um, is a team building exercise, um, which we think is very important so that the new students start to learn the importance of being a team member and the value of being a team member because they will very quickly be on learning teams, actually even during orientation, but clearly as soon as their classes start, they become part of teams. And then when they get to the clinical years, they are definitely part of the healthcare team. New last year, we also added in um, doing the Myers-Briggs personality assessment um, on all of our incoming students and our thought for doing that was that we would again help our students learn more about themselves they would also by knowing themselves better make better career selections so the AAMC the Association for American Medical Colleges um, supports using this Myers-Briggs tool as one of the ways of helping people learn about themselves but I'm curious how, how students feel about this test because you think about these hard-nosed science types coming here and all of a sudden they're asked to take a personality test which seems on the softer side of science and how they reacted to taking the test. We think that the, the students actually responded really well to it and we are looking forward since, as I mentioned, it was the first time last year. The AMC did a study and out of the respondents um, from the schools across the country about close to about 70 percent of schools are actually starting to use um, personality assessment with mo the majority using the Myers-Briggs. Now Steve, we were talking before we sat down about uh, how this test might be used. People might use it in terms to determine what their specialty might be, but you said they might use it to determine what uh, their specialty choice might be while they're still in medical school. Is that correct? My own Prediction is it probably won't play a great part. Um, I know many physicians have taken tests and found out they ought to be a forest ranger someplace and then have been very successful physicians. So I take this with a little grain of salt, but certainly uh, in answer to your question about how they received it, I think they found it very enjoyable and enlightening and we'll just have to see how it bears out. I think whatever the result is, it will be an interesting result.